What fellow trainer stranger in here, welcome to something that's a little different. Now I know I keep away from controversial topics for basically anything that could bring negativity to this channel, but I want to try something different. Now I w I'm not trying to bring negativity obviously, but I want to try maybe like talk about something maybe in a positive light, maybe something like that. Maybe I'll like, give my uh give my review of this whole thing because everyone when it came to the Pokemon Company thing was upset, and honestly I could see their point. Then there are some people who are happy, it's like I can all see their point, and you know, I thought, hey, why don't we just sit down and discuss this, and just have some fun, you know, I've never done something like this, I want to practice, and, you know, let's do it, maybe I'll just, and I'm going to be discussing why I think this game could be good slash bad, in both regards, and then why I think it's good we didn't get a remake slash uh, main series game coming out, or at least announced yet. So, uh, yeah, with that all said and done, let's get into it. First of all, why people are pissed off about this game, I want to try not to curse, is, I guess, a whole bunch of different, like, reasons. I have, I have bullets and points, but obviously it's mainly because it wasn't a main series game slash remake, but, you know, we came into us knowing it's probably not going to be, so let's, let, let's try to get over this and just, we'll, we'll talk about why it shouldn't be. First off, when it came to this game being known as free to play, people were a little upset, a little weary. They're like, oh, so it's just going to be them doing another microtransaction thing. It's going to be them wanting to make money, which obviously they're going to want to do because they are a company. So yes, no matter what, anything being sold or anything being played, people make those games because they want to make money. Or, like, like obviously, if you think about Yu-Gi-Oh, they've made all kinds of games. They've made cards. They've made Pokemon. They make cards. Oh, I hit my mic. They, uh, they're obviously going to make games like this, and especially mobile games are like that. So, uh, when it comes to microtransactions, I can see this going one of two ways. Either it's going to be really bad, or it's going to be something that's pay to win, which I doubt it's going to happen, because they do that. That's going to that's gonna ruin the entire game. But it's where they would have you only be able to get certain characters, you have to buy them or else you'll never be able to get them, stuff like that. But I don't see it going that way. The way I see it going is we look at how League and Smite does it, is I think you'll have the option to buy characters early or unlock them by just playing the game, which is fine, because I think that's how a lot of MOBAs are anyways, so I think that could work out. The other things that I can see them doing is skins... Maybe they can make the maps look different for, for if let's say, maybe, like, I have a water map. So, if I'm a, a big fan of water types, you, you'll look at it and it'll be, look, it'll be, you know, look like it's for water types. But, you know, obviously, it'd be the same map. Uh, going back to the skins, they could have shiny Pokemon skins. So, like, maybe you'll pay, like, five bucks for that. So, you can make one of your Pokemon, like, Charizard or Gengar shiny. And the other thing I can see is icons. Uh, maybe awards that they bring those in. I don't know. Most games have I, a decent amount of mobile games do have awards, so we'll see how that goes. But I, that's how I see the microtransactions going out. I don't see that they're going to make it where it's going to, you know, affect the game via pay to win or you know piss people off too much. But you know, who's good with that? I, I, I definitely think that uh, the microtransaction is a little wavery. I think that's where the main portion of the game is going to be deciding whether this game is going to be, you know, played a good amount or hated or not. Now, let's go out and move on to the gameplay. Let's say the microtransaction pans out and we're all good. I think that with the gameplay that we've seen right now, I think it looks pretty good. Some people were upset that it's not go to the other tower, destroy it, and stuff like that, or the base. But I think this is honestly pretty good because they're taking MOBA with Pokemon and not just saying, well, we're going to make it just like League of Legends. They're making it where it's going to, you know, play a little differently. It's kind of like, I honestly see it kind of like HOTS where, uh, here's the storm where you go get different objectives during what map you play, which honestly, if they do that, that could be pretty cool. But, uh, you basically, your main goal is to get a Pokemon, catch it after defeating it, which when you defeat it, you automatically capture it, and go, and go deliver it, which is nice to, I think that's a pretty, like, easy to understand for anyone to learn, so anyone, even, like, kids could probably pick this up and be able to play it. Now, you can obviously learn moves as you're leveling up, which is really nice, I don't know how that's gonna go. That could work out really well, honestly, and it could be a lot of fun, because there'd be a lot of different strategies you could use. And obviously, you'll evolve, and I wonder if, like, there's a stat base to the game, where, like, your stats will go up if you evolve or something like that, I don't know. But honestly... So far, what we've seen of the gameplay, it does look like a lot of fun. I think it does take a lot. I don't know if it takes, like, too much strategy, I would say. I would definitely say you definitely need teammates to help to be able to do a, to do a lot of the stuff. 
just because from what we've seen, if you get caught out, you're you're gone. And then again, it's kind of like League and Smite, anyways. And if you're wondering why I'm bringing up League and Smite, it's because those are the two main MOBA games that I've played. Now I will say this: I'm hoping that it's not like League or Smite, where they have this one character that's overpowered. Which by that, uh, there are characters that have been known in games like that to be able to one v five people, like one v five the other team. Where I think I can't think of any off the top of my head because I, I, I like. Like, I got into the mobile games, like, maybe a year ago. My friend, if he, like, he was here, he'd be able to bring up things. I think maybe Darius can do that, maybe, from uh, League of Legends. But, yeah, I hope that they don't do something like that. I hope it's I hope it's really going to be a game where you can work as a team. But at the same time, if you go to play to have fun, you could obviously, like, branch out a little bit. And obviously, if you get teamed up, yeah, it sucks, you're gonna, you're gonna lose. But at the same time, you could still be able to do something solo in the game as well. Because I know that... League of, not League of Legends, uh, Overwatch, uh, that game, the reason why I stopped playing it is because it came down to the, the point where if you weren't talking to you, if you were in chat with people, they didn't care, especially if you were low into the game, so they just kind of ignored you, do whatever, and then said that you were bad, and it was just something where it's like, well, this isn't fun if it's gonna be like your teams don't want to listen to you, and they're gonna yell at you because they're not playing the character they want you to play, you know? I hope it's not like that. I hope you, I hope it has like a mix, you know? I think that'd be cool. Okay, going on from the gameplay, I think that this game could be good for them if they do it just right, because MOBAs are pretty big, especially to you. I don't think it'll outshine League of Legends, maybe not Smite, but I think it can be really good for them, especially because Pokemon Company is big, MOBA games are pretty big, combine those together with the right formula, hey, you got something that's really good, and honestly, I think as long as they're adding more characters in, and they're maybe adding different maps, whether or not they do different game modes or not, then I think it could work. Ranked, obviously, is something they'd have to put in, so most other games have ranked, and obviously, they need to move it to PC at some point, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know how they would do that, because they don't like doing PC stuff. There, I've seen them do card games and stuff like that, like, they have the Pokemon TCG Online, which is pretty fun, but they don't really do many of the Pokemon things on PC, but I think if this does perform well, They'd have to move with the PC and make it obviously crossplay between all all that. Just because, like, so many people don't have Switches and would probably want to try out this game. And the f some people love mobile games and like to play it on there, but some people obviously would want to, you know, try it on something different, but not have to put down the money to, you know, buy a Switch. So I think it'd be great if they would change the PC, but that's all, like, if you, they may or may not want to do that. If they don't, like, it's whatever. Like, I, I still think I'm going to play it. I'll probably play it on my Switch because I, because what well, looks like you can play it with the controller because it looked like they were able to play it. Well, yeah, because in the direct, uh, uh, yeah, he played it with the controller, didn't he? Yeah. I definitely think that, that, uh, this could be really good for them if they do it right. But if they do it wrong, this is going to heavily backfire, I think. Because right now, as it stands, people are mad at, at it. Just because they didn't, I feel like people were going to with high expectations, but still, people are really mad right now. And if they screw it up, you better believe that the the community is probably gonna let, not gonna let them. They're they're gonna keep at them. They're they're not gonna let them hear the end of it. It's gonna be sad for them. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I honestly think it's probably gonna be a decent game, if not a pretty de pretty good game, if they keep it updated and do it correctly. Now, I want to discuss why it's a good thing we didn't get a new game slash remake. So why it was good we didn't hear about Sinnoh re remakes or the Let's Go Johto games. I think it's good because if you looked how Sword and Shield are, people complained because the game looked rushed. It didn't look like a great game at first. Obviously, the game turned out decent. But imagine how much better the game could have been if they got another year of development. Which I definitely think the game should have. I think we should wait longer, another year or two, before we get something there. Maybe next year, if they want to, a Johto, and then a year after that, Sinnoh. Still, like, I think it's better that we wait, because if I think it would be more rushed that they release the game this year than Sword and Shield, just because if you think about it, they're working on a whole bunch of different things, from mobile games to Pokemon Snap and all that stuff, so if they actually tried to do a Let's Go, where if they even did a Sinnoh, like, coming out this year, like, dude, the, that game would probably suck just because of, they didn't have time to develop all this stuff, they pro- If you think about it, I think the best way they could do a Sinnoh remake is if they give it time, they add back in all the Pokemon that they've done, because, like, at this point, 
with the Sinnoh games coming out, they already have a lot of Pokemon done and in Sword and Shield at that point. I think at least half of them, if not more. So obviously they'd probably put in the rest of the Pokemon to make it where you had the entire Pokedex. So I think it's better that we wait because if this if they release it and it sucks, so many people are going to be upset. And I feel like we should wait because there was actually a poll, I believe, on Twitter that was discussing, should we wait a year, two years, three years to get new Pokemon games? And everyone said three years, or the majority, I should say. And people uh, in this direct went, oh, we want this now. Like, why didn't you release it? And honestly, I think it's a good thing we didn't get it because I don't want to have a game that's released and then it just kind of looks bad or sucks. Because kind of like people were complaining about the trees and Sword and Shield, like, Imagine what the trees would look like if they got another year. I know that's, I know it's a weird like thing to bring up the trees, but everyone apparently likes to bring up the trees when we talk about Sword and Shield being rushed for Sword and Shield in general. But you know, I think that that uh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year for Pokemon this year, and I think next year is gonna be better because they're gonna have at least another year, if not two years, to develop their next big game that they're coming out with. So, honestly, I think it's good that we should be a little more patient. So, I'm not saying that uh, that means that this game, was, it was good that this game came out, the uh, unit, or Unite, I decided, I don't want to say Unite, but when Unite, just because, like, we never know what's going to happen. I think it's good to look at it on the side of, oh, it's another Pokemon game we're getting, but not to look at it as, like, well, it's good this coming out, not a, a remake, you know. It's just, it's just something, just something to look at it with. I think it's something we look, go into it looking like, it could be good, but we'll see what happens, and we'll honestly, and it's honestly good that we didn't get a remake. I think that's how how I, like I look at it. But yeah, I know people are probably going down in the comments like, "Dude, you don't know what you're talking about." And this stuff is like, you know what? Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I do know what I'm talking about. It's a great thing about opinions. I can come on here and speak about what I think is good and what's not, and I can have it whether the opinion be good, whether it be bad. You can do it. And there's not really a wrong opinion. Well, I say that, and there are a couple of opinions that people will say are wrong, mainly like racist opinions. But this this isn't one of them that can be wrong. This is this is an opinion that is I believe that on my end is a good opinion. And honestly, if you have a different opinion, you know that's fine too. You know, speak it out loud, but don't. But going on to my final topic, don't be a jerk about it. Just because someone's looking forward to something. Don't go out and say, hey, well, screw you. You should hate this game. Don't play it. No, let them like it. I'm not going to go out to, I don't know, like, the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh community being all like, oh, I don't like pen, uh, Pendulum Monsters, even though I don't know what Pendulums are. So you shouldn't either. And they're like, man, but I'm enjoying Pendulum. What are you talking about? It's like, we don't, you don't do that. You let them enjoy the game they enjoy. And you enjoy the game you enjoy. You have the right to be upset. They have the right to be happy. Remember, some people like different things. And for example, uh, people like MOBAs. And yeah, playing with Pokemon is a good idea, I would say. Because it's good that po the Pokemon community or the Pokemon company is branching out anyways. Because a lot of people have been saying we're tired of the same old formula. So at doing some new things, you never know. You can find their next big game coming out at any point. Maybe it'll be something that isn't an RPG. And you don't know. So go in the things with an open mind. And don't... I would say go into the things with an open mind. But you also can have your own opinions. And if you want to speak that out. Good. Do it. But don't be a jerk about it. That's all I gotta say. Well, I know I probably missed out some things, and if I did, leave it in the comments below. But I wanted to try something new, something different, to see how it, how it would go out. And honestly, I'm okay with this. I think this will be an interesting little video. And if you want, start a discussion down below. Maybe if I, when I get time, I can actually go down and type. Maybe we can discuss, like, maybe what you, you like, for example, maybe you don't think this is going to be a good game. Or maybe you think that we should have had a remake or whatever. I'm, I'm down for that, because, like, as long as you're not being a dick about it, or a jerk about it, we can have a reasonable discussion, and it could be nice. And I just wanted to make this video to bring some positivity onto the fact that this could be a good game, and that it's good that we didn't get it, you know? I think that's good. So, until next time, guys, if you enjoyed this, or, you know, maybe you didn't, please subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well, you don't have to. That's the good thing about YouTube. You decide the content you like, and you decide whether or not to watch it. So thank you for taking your time to watching this video. I appreciate it. And so until next time, guys, 
Bye-bye.